Hey guys, today we'll be making some lamb shoulder chops, carrots and potatoes smothered with shallots. This bag is some sweet peas and that's going to be the green today. So let's get started. Of course in this bag we have a brine. I put some cider vinegar, chili powder, onion powder, Worcestershire sauce, sea salt, and garlic powder. And I put a little water in here and marinated it um, overnight. So what I'm about to do now is I'm going to rinse these off and pat them dry. And they are at room temperature at this time. Okay, those are pretty thin, so I'm going to um, season it in a few seconds with sea salt, ground pepper, and Italian seasoning. And I have my um, pan on, getting hot. For my roasted vegetables, you're going to, um, this is a little shortcut, you're going to cut them up, put them in a bowl, you're going to microwave them for like five minutes to get them a little tender, you're going to line a pan or whatever baking dish you want with foil and place them in there and what I use was on my vegetables I use some sea salt, pepper, olive oil, three cloves of garlic and some thinly sliced uh, shallots and I place them in the oven. These have been cooking for like 45 minutes in the oven. I did not cover them up because I want them roasted but um see how good they look and I just um, sprinkled some parsley flakes on top so we're gonna let that go meanwhile while my skillet is getting hot I want to let you know that with my sweet peas I use a half a bouillon half a sweet peas because I'm cooking for myself some butter and I did finally chopped some onion and I did um, chop some bacon in small pieces I know bacon may seem funny with peas but trust me it's gonna be good these have been going for like 25 minutes I had to add like a few more uh, sprigs of water but I did add some uh, black pepper to it so these are the sweet peas and the onions are so thin you can barely uh, see them you can see them in there. So I'm just adding just a little more water and turn it down. I'm going to let these cook for like four minutes on each side because they're pretty thin. And I will be adding some unsalted butter to my pan shortly. Yeah, but if you don't like lamb, you know, it's a good thing to try sometimes. I try different stuff all the time, you know, so it's kind of gamey a little bit, but if you grind them, that's where the uh, game has come out a little bit. Alright, let me cut this butter up, guys. Just add in some more butter. This lamb is really thin, so I'm going to turn them over. I like cooking a steak or pork chop. I don't really cook pork chops, but I might eventually. So I'm about to sprinkle some um, parsley flakes in here to give a little color. Kind of wait for my garlic to kind of cook down. But that fat is going to be so good. So over here I have finished with my ooh, peas. And I'm about to take my potatoes and carrots out the oven first. 